American Soul, BET episode two, season two of uh, this episode's called Fame. The lockers are in the intro. These are the legends of dance from Los Angeles that created the whole style of locking, which became the birth of also popping and locking and breaking and other styles of hip hop. You know, you have uh, Don Campbell, Shabadoo, Slim Robot. Tony Basil with the song Go Mickey, You So Fine, You So Fine, You Blow My Mind. And Penguin, a.k.a. Rewind from the show, What's Happening Way Back in the Day. You do your research on it. Don is uh, trying to have a meeting with some ad executives for business for his show. He talks and tries to finesse this uh, assistant secretary. Then he finds that the guy doesn't really want to meet with him or something or preoccupied with something else and leaves and gets mad and leaves. One of the uh, leaders of the uh, lockers, I'm going to assume it's either Camelot, uh, Don Camelot, who just recently passed, or it's Shabadoo. They're talking to, uh, to Don's assistant, Tess, and she says how everybody knows how you start on Soul Train. And... Um, they got gigs, they're doing different gigs, different places, but they wanted to be paid as dancers on, uh, to be paid dancers on the show. And they're fussing with uh, Don about getting paid to do the gig on the show, and Don doesn't want to pay him. You know, and so they start talking about, you know, he always want to give them, pay the dancers chicken dinners. <laughs> And not uh, pay them cash money. But you can do your research and find that what uh, what they uh, a lot of these dancers talked about how they enjoyed the platform, but he didn't want to pay them. So uh, they argue and whatnot. Simone's trying to get back dancing on Soul Train, and sees Tess, and Tess sees her and says uh, that uh, he doesn't uh, want her to go on the show. And uh, she sees Flo and says, you too big for us now. You don't want to dance no more. You, you big time now. Don is fussing with Tess. He's starting to have headaches again. And he's using narcotics again. Don sees that his the lockers are talking to Dick Clark. And Don confronts Dick Clark. And they have some words that are kind of nasty. <laughs> Yeah, so Dick Clark is trying to recruit some most of Don's dancers. A lot of his dancers are going to uh, to American Bandstand and and other uh, ways to make money because Don doesn't want to pay them any money. So what what they're supposed to do? But I digress. JT goes to the record executive. Uh, they try that they try to get fresh with Simone Clark, his girlfriend, and. Um, he remembers something that Gangster Gerald told him about how to fight and how to uh, look for a gun and a weapon and stuff like that. And he goes there to try to scare the guy that um, that gave uh, Simone a hard time when she was trying to get her demo for a record deal. JT goes back to the club. Don Cornelius is in the club with the gangster chick Ruby that Jerry, Gerald is kind of weary of. Gangster Gerald has a gambling spot inside the club, and JT reported to Gerald about Don and the gangster chick that he uh, is with and tells him that uh, JT, Don, is not to know about this gambling thing inside the club. Don is about to leave with the woman. Gangster Gerald talks to Don and warns him about the woman, Ruby. Don leaves. The woman goes back to the club or somewhere else. Don is sleeping with the secretary of the ad company. He wants to promote his show in the hotel. He tells her her ride is there because there's a horn beeping and that she's supposed to go. She says, thanks, jerk. <laughs> Simone is home watching TV with JT. Comes, comes by and uh, talks to her about punching the executive. Tell her the next time you better run. Don't fight a man. Simone talks to her mother about JT. Simone's upset how you're going to talk to JT. And she said, well, 
you don't, you won't talk to me. So I talked to JT. So apparently, last season, JT was stabbed by a private barker. And the mother, Simone's mother, helped uh, tend his wounds and stuff. And uh, she feels guilty about Private Barker, what he did to him. And she's, he said, don't worry about it. It's all right. Don't blame yourself. I'm still, I'm still alive. I'm still here. Don and uh, Tess are arguing about how to shoot the show because they only have a few dancers because a lot of the dancers are going other places to make money. They're not making any money on Soul Train. Just a chicken dinner, but I digress. <laughs> Gangster Ruby girl comes to the set. She's getting fresh with Don again. The executive guy that he got mad with in the um, office comes to the set. And uh, he wants to talk business with Don Cornelius about um, that, how they can make some kind of business deal. And he apologized for his bad attitude. And he said, uh, there's nothing wrong. He said, uh, and uh, about your assistant, he said, nothing wrong. He's uh, having an assistant that's your friend that's uh, 16 years old. And Don has a frozen stare because he slept with the girl. Oh, boy, yikes. Um, gangster chick Ruby. Pays payola to the record DJ. Gerald gets uh, in the car and threatens her to stay away from Don and Soul Train. And she said that she wants to stay and play with Don Cornelius. Don goes to the club with his business partner. And he has a big surprise. He meets Elton John who really wants to be on the show. And who's a big fan of the show. And wants the Soul Train to be in the UK. And the execs want... Elton John and show it'll be major how much money they could all make and all the ad companies will go crazy putting good money on this one episode on Elton John on Soul Train and it goes off and that's it for this episode of Fame American Soul episode 2 season 2 if you like my videos y'all please hit that like icon if you can and subscribe to Moochie Heat 72 on YouTube Everybody take care. Be safe. Peace.